Hi, hi, hi. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and also welcome to 2021. Over Christmas break, I was really kind of thinking of different projects we could do that kind of went back to my childhood. But doing a little bit of research and my recent fascination with hang gliders, I got an idea where we could possibly take this wrapping paper, make an epic flying RC plane that's made out of paper. So my first goal here is I want to make a paper airplane that glides well. If it glides well and holds up well, I'm going to go ahead and move on to make it RC. First thing we got to do is unroll the paper and start drawing on it. All I'm trying to do is just in under 10 minutes, get any kind of glimmer of hope that this idea will work. And then once we get that going, then I'll start refining it a little bit more. <laughs> it's nose heavy. <gasps> Chris! I'm sorry, man. This is the fastest anything's happened. You gotta, you gotta play catch with me, okay? You ready? Glide number one, ready? Here we go. <laughs> that is ridiculous! <laughs> that is crazy. That was literally what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Okay, so guys, I guarantee we're gonna give you some form of a pattern so you can make this. Um, so check out the link down in the video below. Um, I think what I wanna do now is we have I've been working on something also. This is our Easy Packs, and this, frankly, is our next series called the Jet Series. Um, but we use this in STEM. We use this in schools. We go into schools, and kids will build three different airplanes. They'll learn about three different pieces of history, configuration, and ultimately, we give them extra material, and they design their own based off what they learned. What I want to do is I want to take the Easy Pack, which is insanely light. It's gyro-stabilized, has 400 feet width of range, and I think what we do is we try to scale this up to a size where it is big, it is slow, and then maybe we can fly it in here, and then ultimately we'll take it to our new manufacturing building and then see what we can do with it. But if that works, this is gonna be an awesome, just imagine those two things together. It'll be amazing. So oftentimes you may notice that we love using foam board for lots of different builds here. I'm really excited about this project because we get to use other common materials, but also we get to use them where they benefit us in a big way. I love this wrapping paper because it's really light, and although it doesn't make a very good conventional paper airplane, it's almost like a very lightweight fabric that you can use, and I'm loving how it's coming together. And along with that, I'm really enjoying learning more about the Regalo wing. Regalo wings have been around since 1946, and it's really cool how they're relevant even today. And getting to actually make this out of a paper airplane, it's really cool. I wanna, I wanna lower the center of mass. So instead of just trying to make it balance like a flying wing, I mean, the whole purpose of this is you have a, a weight underneath here that this is gathering on. I wanna see, because ultimately the motors and the ESC and, and everything are gonna be right around the center of gravity. So when it gives you throttle, it goes up, and then when it relaxes, it goes down. So rather than putting weight here to make it just be a glider, let's start working to see where the, the center of gravity needs to be. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take what we learned here. I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna get this flying as nice as possible. We use to put the little nut on the back. I'm gonna find out where my center of gravity is, I'm gonna mark it. And then from that point on, as I scale up, that'll kind of be my range of where I'm gonna hopefully establish where the motors will be. So when we give it power, it will uh, climb. But at the same time, when we cut the throttle with no power, it'll glide real nice. So uh, we're close, we're real close. A few moments later. All right. What do you got? So I went ahead, and this is just scabbed together. This is literally, what, seven minutes. Um, we got our two motors from our Easy Pack right here and here, and I can move these in and out to kind of get the leverage I need to turn it. Okay. And it's just ahead of the CG. So because it's ahead of the CG, we're actually going to point it down a little bit. So it actually counteracts it. So I can adjust this up and down based on how I need the, the thrust to kind of angle my glider. And then I went ahead and cut this angle piece down here to get the battery and to get the control board as low as possible. So that way the plane will have a lower center of gravity and also hopefully be a little more stable. But uh, let's glide it real quick. Okay. 
<laughs> it, it still has the same glide slope, it just flies a little bit faster. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna break this before I fly it. Well, do we wanna, do you wanna try powering it on and see what happens? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I need to open them up, I need to get them farther apart. And I need the center of gravity back for sure, that was a lot better. So this is what happens when I get like really excited. All like refinement goes out the door and I just start hacking things together until I get a glimmer of hope. And then I end up building another one. And then I get desperate, I just go crazy. And then I build another one. Um, but really optimistic, I'm not gonna have to build a ton of these. That's awesome. <laughs> it was so slow. Not maneuverable at all. No, was that on high rates? Uh, yeah, that was on high rates. It's still just, it's terribly non-responsive. What we need to do is we need to get the motors to have more authority, but also I need more pitch up authority. So I kind of put this so I can move this out and still keep a little bit of that positive uh, thrust so it kind of move it up. And at the same time, uh, hopefully get that leverage I need. And if I need more leverage to pitch up, I can move them closer, um, but then I'm sacrificing the ability to turn it. So it's really just gonna kind of be an adjustment game to see what's the magical amount. My guess is it's probably gonna end right about in the middle where we have the, uh, the pitch authority and also the turning. I don't think we're gonna have the situation where it can turn on a dime like a vapor though. A little disappointed about that. Or too much. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, it's okay. Let's go back to where it was before. Okay, let's do it one more time. Ready? Yep. Oh. Oh. Guess I'm still a little bit tail heavy, aren't I? Yep. Now typically whenever we have problems and we just can't get over the hump of a certain type of performance or characteristic we want the plane to have, that's when we go back and do some more research. Now the really cool thing is, thanks to our sponsor today, we can do our research and build at the same time, and that sponsor's Raycon. Raycon is an amazing company that is truly disrupting the industry by offering both quality and affordable earbuds. These earbuds have a six hour runtime, so if you guys decide to do a build along video with me but you don't want your whole family having to listen in on the step by step process of building an airplane, you can simply pop these in. The other thing I really like about them is they offer different unique colors, so if your wife has a pair and you have a pair, you never have to worry about mixing them up. Now oftentimes people think earbuds are just something good for whether you're working out or whether you want to listen to music. But Raycon earbuds are incredibly useful also for working from home or getting into an environment where you need to do something but you don't want other people having to listen in. I really enjoy using Raycons when I'm flying my ultralight and also when I'm flying the paramotor. I can simply pop them in my ears and listen to music while I'm flying and having fun. One thing I don't have to worry about is I'm popping out easily because the form fit really makes it a comfortable fit, but one I'm confident it's not gonna fall out no matter how active I am. The Recon is not only offering a 45 day return policy, but they're also offering you a 15% discount code that's gonna give you the ability to save by simply clicking that link down below, which is buyraycon.com slash flight test. So during this time of doing some testing and also some research, I think I figured out what I was doing wrong here. I need to shape this regala a little bit less like a hang glider and a little bit more like what NASA used to deliver their space shuttles back onto the ground. Also, NASA had some really cool prototypes that some astronauts actually flew, and you'll notice that the power and the position of the pilot was much further back on the wing and also lower. What I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna kinda go back to the drawing board, I'm gonna shape this to look a little bit like a hang glider, but I'm gonna lower my center of gravity and I'm also gonna move it back about 15%. My hope is that this is gonna give us a much more stable glide and give us the ability to have power to enable it to climb without causing it to stall out. Okay, I think we just make one more version of this, refined as possible, and if this works, guys, I'm gonna make a pattern and give it to you so you can recreate this as well. So to add a lot of strength and also save a lot of weight, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the wooden pieces and the big chunk of foam out of the center section, and I'm gonna go to a lighter, very minimalistic plywood design. It's gonna not only give us strength, but also really simplify the whole design of this aircraft. So I think we have our final design all put together. Next thing we gotta do is take it out and put it for a test flight.
All right, so we are all ready to go here. It's actually a beautiful day here in December. So we're gonna take advantage of that and try to fly this outside a little bit of wind, but I think this is gonna handle it pretty well. One thing I'm definitely gonna do, I'm gonna refine this one level more here. I'm gonna change these angles to make it look really cool. And after that, I'm gonna release those plans for you. This is nothing but our two channel easy power pack that you can put in, but also even as a glider, just to check, it looks really cool and flies good. You don't need to put any electronics on this. Big favor to our community. I don't think this needs to be wood. I think it could be 3D printed. If you guys want to take the files that I share and make a 3D printed version that you can share with the community and even refine it and make it better, that'd mean the world to me. So we're gonna give this a toss, see how she goes. All right, so guys, this is the experience I wanted and was hoping we'd have here. The thrust simply gives us the ability to climb or to dive, and we're using the differential to be able to turn left and right. And as far as maneuverability, it's doing fantastic. Moving the motor and the battery further back gave us the center of gravity and lowered the center of mass down. So now, instead of having to worry about it kind of not self-correcting, it's super stable and it glides great and it turns great and it climbs easy. I'm really enjoying this because it's super efficient. I'm only flying around half throttle. Full throttle is not going to give me a really fast climb. It has plenty of power to do what I need, and also this is going and probably fly for about eight minutes. I'm really surprised with how well it's doing in the wind. It's not the calmest day today, but it actually is handling the wind really, really well. And even though it's bouncing me around and flipping me around, so even if it flips over, it self corrects quickly. So this is definitely a crazy project. It's a crazy project I want you to do. I'm gonna be including the plans for this. And also I wanna encourage you guys to kind of dream up something crazy, look at odd materials and put them to flight. And it has a really good glider ACO too. <laughs> All right, friends, thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. One thing I'm definitely gonna do, I'm gonna refine this one level more. If you guys like this video, hit the subscribe bell, and we'll see you next time.